So this question is a diagram question. We have this parabola, basically, provided for us in the graph. It provides us with the x-intercepts here at 8, 0, and 32, 0, which basically means we could figure out the vertex here, at least the x-value of the vertex, because it has to be halfway between these two x-intercepts because the parabolas are symmetrical. So if the distance between 8 and 32 is 24, then the distance between 8 and the midpoint should be a distance of 12, which means, I should write it like that actually, which means that this has to be 20, comma 0 right there. Okay. So the question says the graph of the equation y equals negative x squared plus 40x minus 256 is shown. Which of the following equivalent forms of the equation shows the maximum value of y as a constant or coefficient? So you have a couple of ways to solve this. First of all, you could just throw the, each of these answer choices into a calculator. And actually, I would, pl I would throw the original equation into a calculator and then get the graph, basically. And then from that, I'd be able to determine what the y value here of the maximum value is. And knowing that number, because the question says the equation shows the maximum value of y, that number should actually be present in the answer choice itself. So that would be the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to do that. You won't be able to see my calculator on screen, but hopefully you'll maybe pause this video and grab your graphing calculator and follow along with me. All right, so when I do that, I get this parabola on my, so I use Desmos because that is what you will have on the digital SAT. Um, so what I find is that this Y value is equal to 144. That is the maximum value of Y according to the calculator. I look at my answer choices. There is only one answer that has 144 in it. So my answer here must be B. All right, so I could show you a lot of math on how to solve this, but let's just use a calculator. It's there for you. Um, you don't have to bring your own calculator to the digital SAT. You can if you'd like, but you don't have to. So I'm using the calculator that you will have on test day. You can look at it on your phone or your laptop or your whatever device you're using for right now as you prepare. Um, and just go to Desmos, type, literally type this equation in, negative x squared plus 40x minus 256, graph it, trace up to the high value for y, it'll tell you that that's at 144. And again, the question says, not just that the equation answer has to be equivalent, but it has to be equivalent and show the maximum value. So, you know, if there were two options that had 144, I tried them out and do some more work to make sure they were to make sure which one was equivalent, but only one of them actually says 144. So choice B has to be correct.